have a new theory. It now seems possible that Dr. Matt Hunter, Maxie's unfortunate boyfriend, may have killed Lisa Niles, but was so drunk that he's blocked out the memory of the event. Now, if this theory should prove true, one question remains. What course of action should I take? And standing here, I can't help but wonder, WWTAD, what would the Avengers do? What would you do? Captain America would pursue justice no matter where it led. But, you know, with great respect, you have the benefit of a secret serum, which rendered you super strong and resilient. Well, I more strongly resemble the pre-transformation Steve Rogers. You know, strong-willed, but my physical prowess is somewhat lacking. So, how do I go about proving my theory? What if I do prove it? WWDHD. What will Dr. Hunter do? What will I do about what? Hey, what, what are you doing here? Elizabeth had to work at the hospital late, so I volunteered to take him this super special advanced screening. Huh? Yeah, yeah, awesome. I too was privileged to procure a ticket. Um, I, you may be surprised, but I've been a lifelong comic book enthusiast. No kidding. And a huge Avengers fan. Me too, the Avengers rock! Oh, agreed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they are the truest of heroes that always bring the evildoers to justice. Do you have a favorite Avenger? The Hulk! Oh, I don't know. Iron Man's pretty cool too. He's the genius billionaire playboy. He gets to wear that really cool high-tech suit, fly around, save the world. And when he's not doing that, he's going to the coolest parties in exotic locales and enjoying himself. I'm not surprised that you were drawn to the shallowest of superheroes. Oh, come on. Tony Stark has faced down his demons. He is not looking down on the other heroes. He just doesn't take himself too seriously. Yeah, it just bugs me that some guys can avoid taking responsibility altogether by simply throwing out a witty one-liner. I, I commend your admiration for the Hulk. I like how he smashes things. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, brute strength isn't enough to bring evildoers to justice. Sometimes you have to have true intelligence to unmask a villain, especially when they're in disguise. What's that supposed to mean? You brought your headphones, right? Yes. Don't you rock out for a little bit? Spilly and I need to talk about something, okay? okay. All right, thanks, bud. Please tell me you are not still stuck on this notion that my brother somehow killed Niles and just blacked the whole thing out. Okay, look, all I'm saying is that it's possible for, for someone to commit a violent crime in the heat of the moment and, and then not... just completely forget about it? Take Bruce Banner as a case in uh, point. It's a comic book, Spinelli. Okay, my brother did not bludgeon Lisa and then throw her overboard and then just block it out. M mem memory is flawed. Imperfect. I mean, there are countless psychological studies of eyewitnesses recalling the very same event, but in markedly different ways. Yeah, when I was in med school, I had to take plenty of psych classes, and a lot of them spoke to subjective memory. My brother killing Lisa, it does not fit in that scenario. When was the last time you saw your brother that night? In the boat salon. Okay. We, we, we had a disagreement. Okay, who initiated the hostilities? It wasn't hostilities. My brother and I just grate on each other every once in a while. In fact, that night he was being very nice. He was paying me a compliment, saying that I deserve the party. And I just shouldn't let things go to my head, which I took as an insult, or that he was saying that I wasn't as good of a surgeon as he was, and the whole thing went downhill. Did it come to blows? No, it didn't come to blows. He said something snarky and he walked off. It, it just so you know, he didn't have a wrench in his hand. But you, you stayed in the salon? Yeah, yeah, I did. So I, uh, I want to be close to the champagne bottle. What can I say? No, Elizabeth came and uh, we talked. And I'm not telling you anything that I haven't already said a million times before. I, I don't know, maybe the change of environment will uh, stimulate your memory, uh, help you recall details that you have. That what did you so far? Oh, what you, the details, what are you talking about? My brother, my brother is the suspect, not me. Okay, look, you, you said that you left the salon at, at some point, right, to go find Elizabeth? Did, did you see anyone? The whole thing, you know, it's a blur. I was 
Yes, calling for Elizabeth, trying to find her. Yeah, which which deck were you on? All of them, any of them, I, I don't know. Where, I don't were know. you ever on the deck where Lisa was murdered? Spinelli, it doesn't matter how many times you ask me, how many different ways, I, I didn't see my brother kill Lisa because he didn't do it. Hey, uh, hey. it's open, Matt. Oh, thanks, bud, you're absolutely right. We're going right now. Let it go, Spinelli. I know you're trying to help Maxie, and I appreciate that. But you're, you're way off base here. I'm gonna find another suspect. All right, bud, come on, line back here. I'll take you. I have another suspect, all right? You know, and I would accuse you to your face, but I, I genuinely believe that you do not remember. But I can't stay silent and let Maxie send herself to prison for a crime that she most certainly did not commit. Life is simpler in comic books. Hey, Spinelli. I thought you were gonna stay to the end credits. Come on now. I'll do that on opening day. <laughs> okay, you're gonna see this movie again, huh? Well, of course. I mean, a film can't be fully appreciated with a single viewing. You have to live with it a little, let it settle, and go back and see all the things that you couldn't take in the first time. It's like solving a mystery. Solving a mystery? Yeah. Some secrets can only be uncovered by repeat viewing. You, know, you piece it together little by little until you find your answer. What answer? How good may triumph. How the innocent may go free. Why it's important to stand up for what you believe in. So you really enjoyed the movie? Yes, indeed. And I've been inspired by the Avengers' good example to right a great wrong.